I reached out to Dr. Feldman as well as DCYF to speak on this case, as well as those expert opinions. After several attempts, Dr. Feldman's office told me that she is unavailable, and DCYF, instead of giving me the chance to speak to them on camera, provided a statement that reads in part, The ultimate decision to remove children from their home is made by law enforcement or the court. The department looks to reunify children with their families when it is safe to do so, and continues to provide information to the court to consider. Yet, when Casey, who is now nine months pregnant, finally petitioned the court for Kane's return late in March of 2022, DCYF fought to keep him in foster care. A few weeks later, in a shocking move, social workers put Casey's newborn daughter, Zoe, in protective custody too, owing to Kane's still unexplained injuries. I was blown away, like how can this keep happening? How can a judge sign off on that? I reached out to my attorney and said I just gave birth and I was served with papers a couple hours later. This whirlwind series of events culminated in a hearing in Grays Harbor County Superior Court where the judge described by the family's attorney as visibly upset sided with Casey, ordering an immediate return of both children over the DCYF's continued objections. Something new had convinced the judge to reunite the family on top of Casey's fact-finding mission. All along, the core of the agency's argument in keeping Kane was he was safe. While Kane was in DCYF care, he never had any injuries, but it turns out he had. In an irrefutable twist of fate, the same kind of mystery injuries that took Kane away from Casey returned. A routine physical done on Kane found four unexplained rib fractures suffered while he was in DCYF care. Remember, this is when his family still had limited access to him and their visits were supervised. They said that me and the foster mom and the daycare were all going to be investigated. And then when they couldn't piece together any story because nobody broke Kane's bones, then it just disappeared. Nobody talked about it again. The judge's final order was explicit. There were no findings of abuse or neglect, and DCYF was not timely in giving the parents the opportunity to get a second medical opinion. Wow! Kane is back home with his mom, making memories. But Casey knows she'll never be able to get that time back. She oh. says the state stole. We have a bond now, but that baby time, all gone. She tells me another thing that's gone is her trust. And now I'm left scared to take my kids to the doctor. Scared at who's knocking on the door.